Hello everyone. Hello, 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 and welcome to Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you guys have had a fantastic couple of days, and I am so excited to show you this first item. So we are going to hippity hop right into it. It is my thumbnail photo, and I cannot believe that I found this at the Dollar Tree. So here is this little case right here. I saw this on the shelf and I was like, okay, what is that? So I picked it up and it has this beautiful like iridescent look to it so that when you move it around, you can see like this rainbow effect and the color changing when you motion it. And then you open this lid right here and it pulls out into this, hi girl, hey girl, hey, I see you in that mirror over there. Um, You pull it out and look at the great size mirror there is in this case. And then you have two shelves right here so that you can situate your full face of makeup so that you don't have to go, you know, scrounging around in the middle of the night or the morning to try to prepare your stuff. It's all going to be set out for you so that you can wake up, feel fresh and get it done. And there's two great stackable um, shelves right here that you can situate a decent amount of makeup and concealers and lipsticks and mascaras and whatever else you wear on your face, your sponges, your brushes, whatever you use. Um, so this little case right here is like a gem of a find and I'm really excited to have grabbed this. So there you go with that. Be on the lookout. I don't know where it came from, but I am so excited that I found it. I used to love to have my caboodles boxes when I was growing up. They had all different compartments to it, all different stackable like pull out layers like that where it just folded out into tears with the mirror inside. And so that is like a miniature version to me of my favorite caboodles <laughs> um, when I was growing up. So I snatched that right up because that is going to be good for the morning. I need that mirror. And I use a dinky tiny little one now that I've probably had for the last 20 years. And it's cracked to be 100% honest with you. So I am going to finally say goodbye to it. It's like my comfort mirror. I just have looked in my, at myself so often in that mirror to put on my face or what have you. Um, and I just, I have to say goodbye to it at this point. And that mirror is fantastic to replace it with. Then I picked up this right here, which is a great wrapping paper option and it is a Disney theme and it's all Ariel. So you know, oh no, it's not all Ariel. I must have just zeroed in on my girl, my little mermaid girl, but there is Snow White to which I also love Snow White. I also I just love all of the characters. So right now I'm seeing Cinderella um Cinderella Aurora Ariel and Snow White on this paper. It is not a huge tube, but for one of my Disney themed hauls from the Dollar Tree one time, I am going to use it in my backdrop um, to put on the wall. It's a 30 inch by five feet uh, roll of wrapping paper. And it's just so beautiful in Disney and I love Disney. So I grabbed it and I can't wait to Go to the store around Christmas and pull an all Disney haul together for you guys and do that. Now, I found some more great books. Again, all of their books, their coloring books, their puzzle books, their, um, their activity books, everything that they have in the book section pertaining to kids is hands down amazing for a dollar and so awesome to put together for a gift for any type of holiday, birthday, what have you. And this is a stick to learning, same or different sticker and activity book right here. So I grabbed this and this is one of the pages inside where the stickers are. And look at, just look at those stickers for one second. Look at those popsicles. Like I want those, those look fantastic. 
And then this is one of the pages inside that you can do the activity on. This find the missing stickers, then draw a line to match the ice pops that are the same. So this is a great learning tool book, which you know I love that if you've been with me for a while. I am so big on like education, learning. It was really hard for me growing up. A lot of you already know my story. I am dyslexic. Um, I had a really hard time in school, especially elementary. Through my middle school time, I had tutors after school. Um, I had reading specialists, everything. And um, it it was a process, but by senior year, I was a straight A student. My high school years were fantastic, but there was no way that I was leaving high school without walking across that, that stage for high honors. And I worked the hardest I've ever worked my senior year to make sure that I accomplished my overall goal of getting the high honors award with all of my friends on that stage and it was one of the proudest moments I've ever had. I almost want to cry right now so we're just going to keep moving on. Um, This again is the lots of um, lots of opposites sticker and activity book. So this is another one in that line and then the, these are some of the sticker sheets in there Um, and then this is one of the pages that they offer for activities inside of it so this one says look at the images below then draw a picture of the opposite of each image on the right so it just gives you all kinds of things to do inside of these books this is lots of sorting sticker and activity book so this is the third one in that line right there I only found three of them and Nine times out of ten, they usually come out with four options, but I did not find a fourth option in this. This is the stickers right here in the middle of the book. And then you go, and this is one of the pages that you can work on right here. And it says, find the missing color stickers to fix the hole in each balloon. That's just one of the activities. So there is that. And then this one is sticker and activity book around the world with over a hundred stickers. So I loved this one to be a hundred percent honest with you just for myself, because since I was little, I just, I've dreamt up my whole life of traveling and I have a bucket list that goes on for like a notebook and a half of all the things that I want to go see, travel to do, experience. And um, so this I definitely gravitated toward. And this is just one of the sheets on two pages of all of the sticker options right there. So there is that. And then here is one of the activity pages that you can work on, and it's about London, England. So I think that that's really, really amazing. So I cannot wait to just sit down and flip through that book myself. I'm so excited for it. Then I have also found this book right here, and this is the Tortoise versus the Hare, the rematch. So I thought that was awesome. When I was growing up, I loved the book, The Tortoise and the Hare, in the hair book and this is the rematch and so I thought that that's really really cute and um this is one of the pages inside of the book right there so I cannot wait to read this to one of my grandbabies someday if I am so fortunate to have some so there is that then I went and I found these wall clings and I am so excited for springtime because with all of my Dollar Tree things that I've pulled throughout the last year, I have a lot of um, succulent and plant type of um, signs that have all different um, gardening words on it and little potted plants in the theme of the signs and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to really do a gardening theme in my house 
this spring and so I found these wall clings right here and this is what they can set up like if that is what you want to set them up like so here is all of the options that come on this side of the sticker sheet and then on the back there's more stickers so here are the options for this one and I got two sets of them so that I can decorate an entire space of a gardening area in my house. I might get some spider plants. Listen, I do not have a green thumb. And it's unfortunate because my grandparents all could um, garden amazingly. And so can my mom. But I have killed every plant I've ever tried to keep alive. <laughs> Even a spider plant, which is supposed to be the easiest plant for you to maintain, and I've killed it. I actually have a dead spider plant on my counter at the moment, and I feel really bad for it. I am a bad plant mother, but I am going to try to get some faux plants and maybe a couple of real ones and just see if I can do a little better this time around. Um, my garden out front is about the only thing that I have been able to do as an adult in garden form. And it's just because I have really good soil out there. And I know that's the reason. And I do remember to water it. So I guess I'll give myself credit for that. And then I found this easel. And um, I found this easel and I, I was just blown away by it. It's such a fantastic size. And I absolutely love to put on my own solo <laughs> adult paint nights. And this is perfect because they have canvases in all different sizes for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Their whole paint section, their whole crafter square section where you can pull together an entire paint night. And then they have now these fantastic size easels for you to prop the canvas up on and paint away. So I grabbed one of these for myself when I'm just chilling out and I want to do some painting. Then I grabbed a couple of frames here because I have been having a lot of fun crafting and embellishing frames with the wall clings that I pick up from the Dollar Tree for holiday reasons, um, and even just the wall clings in the aisle where they're all, you know, on a, on a shelf, you know, hanging from their hooks. And I just wanted some frames so that I could pull together a couple of more holiday wall cling collages. And then I decorate the frames and embellish them. And I think that they really come out cute and I have so much fun doing it. So I grabbed this 8x10 frame right here. Then I picked up this 8x10 frame right here as well. And it has like this lighter gold sheen to it. But honestly, I just cover them completely up with embellishments and words that I pull from, you know, the, the craft options that I have from the Dollar Tree. and But they come out so cute. And for a couple of bucks, it's a really cute way to display some cool crafts that you make personally then i found now my girl Lene on um fashionably 50 something and beyond she's been doing all kinds of like really cute uh crafts that are just kind of like on cardstock and she's making ornaments and she just uses all of her really cute holiday embellishments and she kind of collages them all together you have to go check out her channel it's fashionably 50 something and beyond and um so I've been wanting to mimic and try to come up with my own because they just look so cute and I love to collage I just love that style of crafting and I love to put all the pieces together and create something really cute and I found these packages of paper pack right here and this is just a bunch of it's got a lot of stuff in there it says 200 to, I don't I don't know what that means guys what do you think that means 200 gms um I would say grams but it's probably not <laughs> um but look at all of the sh you know just sh not shreds but cut up 
little swatches of paper inside of this, all different styles and colors and everything. And I have so many stickers and ribbons and all kinds of things to embellish this. So I wanted to see if I could just sit down, pull a couple of these scrap pieces of paper and put together some cute little collages and, um, and just create them and maybe stick them in the frames, make ornaments out of them, you know, and just try to do that. She calls them certain abbreviations, but I've never actually asked her what they are called. Um, and what the abbreviations mean. Um, ATC, I think she said. I could be wrong. Let's not get too far into it because then I'm going to start confusing myself. But she says all kinds of abbreviations. So I'm sure, Lene, once you watch this, if you could drop down a little description in the comments below um, to describe what the abbreviations are that you're creating on your channel that you've been showing lately. I would really appreciate it. So I just, I think that whole pack of uh, papers are great. So I grabbed three of them because they had all different types of colors inside. They were totally different than one another. So I picked up three of them all together. There's that one. And now here is the last one right here. And I absolutely love that blue right there. So I was thinking maybe I could do like all snowflakes in like a snow scene, create some mounds of snow, maybe some little cotton ball rounds, um, just make them smaller to make miniature snowballs and create like a 3D picture onto that blue piece of paper right there it's just they're really they're really like pretty colors inside of these packages so I'm excited to do that and I found some sticker books and this is from Corey Page and Corey Page um I believe is somebody that sells her items for more than a dollar so like at Michael's and things like that. So this is the sticker book right here. Corey Page sticker pad with four pages. And there's 350 plus stickers inside of this. So here is this page right here. And I absolutely love it because of all the rainbows, the peace signs, the, the stickers that say love the flowers. You know that this is my vibe. I'm all about it. Then this page that has all of these really cute desserts all over it and ice creams. Then this page right here is really cute. I love the tie-dye looking background. I think is really, really adorable. And then this page, which is also a lot of fun, the pizza and sunglasses and the lips, the shades, the cherries, the french fries, the watermelon, the diamonds. That is just really, really, really cute. So I picked up two of these because I will use them for friend mail. I'll use them for scrapbooking. I'll just use them for a variety of things. I also picked up this one right here, which is another sticker book, and this is from the Teaching Tree section. This is 348 pieces in here, and it's just a really cute little set of stickers to, to, um, to use for all different kinds of reasons for playing school at home, you know, and there's an A-plus sticker right there, a thumbs up sticker with a smiley face. So these are just really awesome, super good job. Like these are really good for encouragement purposes for um, a chore chart. You know, if you do a chore chart and if your kids do their chores, then give them a sticker on their column. I always had a chore chart for my son. And then this one's really cool with all of these, like they look like hand drawings owl says great over his head the bunny says cool the crab says great a plus on the pineapple so 
These are really good for chore chart purposes and all kinds of stuff. Then here is this page right there. So just great options, great stickers for encouragement reasons. Then I picked up, oh my dear, then I picked up more of these laser cut craft icons and there's six pieces in here. So I picked this up because I love all the leaves for fall purposes and I'm probably going to use these to embellish those frames right there when I'm creating my collages inside of them. So I'll use that to hot glue onto the actual gold rim of the frame. I think that they're really pretty. I'll incorporate a bunch of flowers around it and really pull it all together to just make it a festive looking frame for Thanksgiving. And then I grabbed, I picked up this book right here, God Created Everything. This is a hard book right there. It says full page pop up inside and I absolutely love the color of it with all the, you know, all the kids, the animals holding hands, the sun is shining and um, it's just a beautiful book. Let's find the pop up page. Oh my goodness. How stunning is this book? So look at that. That is everything. God created everything. And so it pops right up there. So this is a really, really cute book. <clears throat> Meaningful and amazing. <laughs> then I found these blemish patches from Be Pure Non-Medicated. It absorbs oil and residue, helps clear blemishes overnight while you sleep. Target problem area. So I picked these up. There's 24 count inside of this, which is pretty good, I think. And um, I'm just going to put those in the stash in my bathroom of skincare items so that everybody can um, use those up. And if they need them, they're there for them. I also picked up this right here. And I don't know if you guys use a detangler, but... This is a fantastic detangler. And I, I my mom's probably going to be like, oh, cow, why did you say that? But I buy this from my mother. <laughs> um, this is, it smells fantastic. It does the job. My mom has really, really um, short length blonde hair. And it gets, you know, it needs a little detangler when she gets up in the morning. And she brushes it out, you know, so that her hair can just be smooth like glass and this works amazing for her and it it really does the job really well it's barbie smooths and untangles hair and it's a cotton candy scent and it's eight fluid ounces and so i went and i bought her 12 of these to get her through the next year because that's usually what i do as i grab her all the barbie detanglers for a whole year's supply so i picked those up because once they get them they leave pretty quickly and then they don't replenish them for a while after and that's hard to go um to a hundred of them and not find any so when i see them i scoop them up then I went and I found another one of these tote bags. I have been looking for this for so long. I actually had one quite a while ago, but I gifted mine away with all purple items inside of it and made a whole entire purple themed gift to surprise somebody. But I absolutely love this tote bag and I randomly found it at one of the Dollar Trees over the weekend. And this says Choose Happiness, which is my favorite. It's a really great size canvas tote bag. It's not a thin, uh, a thick canvas. It's really on the thin side. It has some straps tucked down inside. They're rather long. They go until about here, so it's enough strap to sling over your shoulder. But this is perfect for like going to a farmer's market. You're going to buy fruits, vegetables, ears of corn, what have you. You know, this is a really good sized sack to put all of your things in. So that is usually why I grab these particular totes that come out, these canvas bags, because they're really good 
and they feel comfortable on your shoulder while you're walking, you know, and browsing through a farmer's market and throwing stuff inside of your bag. So that is a great pickup and I'm happy to have found that again. Um, and then my mom grabbed this ribbon. There's nine feet and she just loved the red and white checkers. It reminded her of a nice summer picnic. So she wanted to use that to make some bows with this ribbon. So I picked it up for her. Then I picked up myself some new Betty Crocker scissors, soft grip handle. And I desperately needed these because I used to have a pair of them, but somebody damaged them and they had to be thrown out a while ago. And I have not seen these in the store anywhere for months on end, but I finally found them. They have a really good, um, uh, you know, cut to it right there. They, they work amazingly well. They feel comfortable when you're snipping. And so I'm so happy that I found these. I love that the Dollar Tree carries the Betty Crocker brand because it really is a pretty line. I love all the red options um, to put in your kitchen. So I'm really excited that I found that. Then I grabbed this cake spatula right here. And this is a thinner pointed tip. I, I love it. I have not seen these yet. So with their whole new little line of baking options that they seem to be stocking up on, this is a really amazing tool. I would actually cut pie with this more than anything to scoop out a slice of pie. But I love, I love that they have that. Then this is another cake spatula and I would use this to, um, I would actually use this to smooth the frosting on a cake, cupcakes, whatever you need it for to make it like a smooth, even level job. Well done. So there's that. I think that that is pretty cool. That's new to my store as well. <coughs> oh, geez. Don't start your coughing again, girl. <coughs> Excuse moi. Um, okay. So I found this bow and I think it is adorable. I like to wear my hair half up and half down and that just looks really, really cute in back of like a ponytail with your hair down. So I picked this up right there. It's a really, really pretty black, but it has like a, a great, great texture to it that I really like. And then right here from the B color brand is iridescent fashion nails. <coughs> Excuse me. And even though these are on the longer level than what I like to wear on my fingernails, I just love them so, so much that I had to pick them up. Excuse me. I'm going to yell for water. Richie. No, I'm not. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Um, This is 12 pieces in there. So I grabbed that and I absolutely love those so much. <coughs> then I grabbed some Mod Podge that I have been talking to you guys about for doing my collages on the wooden planks that the Dollar Tree has been offering the, um, to craft on. So this is just a really small option that the Dollar Tree carries for Mod Podge. It's only two fluid ounces, but you really don't need a ton of Mod Podge to adhere something. So this will do the trick just for a little bit. And if I get, you know, really cranking on doing collages and creating signs with the wood pieces, then I can just go to Walmart and get a bigger Mod Podge. And this is water-based sealer glue and finish. So I picked that up right there so that I can start doing my collages now that I have that. So I'm super excited about that. <coughs> I am so sorry. I don't know why. I have a tickle in my throat again. I'm not sick anymore though. Thank heavens. I found this sponge right here. Oh my dear. 
Uh, it's a bath sponge and look at it. It's so, so beautiful. I just want to like stare at it instead of use it and get it yucky. So I think that this is a really, it's so soft and, and, and just squishy. And I think it's a really, really attractive looking sponge. So to make like a whole entire bath set, you know, for gifting purposes, some bath bombs, some face masks, a nice little loofah sponge, um, you know, a, a little wrap for your hair to be put up, some candles inside of that little basket so that you can have like the ambiance of just chilling out and taking care of yourself for a few that is a really beautiful sponge to incorporate into a basket for that. So that is where my thought process is on that cool little scene. <laughs> now, these couple of things are the last in this bag right here. Again, we're going to go to 35 because I just love to be here with you guys. And I love to shop with you guys again because a lot of this stuff is like... Um, picking it up for the first time and I get excited to do it and show you guys um and then feel the thrill of like whoa that was at the Dollar Tree I paid a dollar for that I get a little proud I'm excited um this is from the tool bench section and this is an inspection mirror it's a flexible design easily view behind or under furniture inspect engines peek into walls and crawl spaces so how amazing is that? That is really nifty. I think that that is a great little tool for only a dollar. Fantastic. I'll take it. And then this is a magnetic pickup tool right here. And um, so that that's really awesome. And it's extendable. So look at how far you can pull this out. And it can keep going too. But the, the little, the little twist is holding it. So this expands quite a bit and something magnetic will stick right to this and you can just pull it up and grab it. So I think that that's awesome from the tool bench section as well. I haven't gotten a chance to pick up anything from the tool bench section in quite a while. So I was really excited to find those couple of things. And then look at how big this bottle is right here. And the Armorall brand is a really great brand. This is disinfectant three-in-one cleaner. Kills viruses and 99.9% um, of germs. So in the car, hello, like we are in our car. I am. I'm in my car in, out, around, up, down, over, here, over there all day long work, errands, <clears throat> you know, picking people up, dropping people off, doing, just doing a variety of things. <clears throat> you're in and out, you're interacting, you're touching things. I like to wipe down my car. So I always keep wipies in there and a little disinfectant spray to spray down your steering wheel, your shift, your handles, your radio buttons, you know, all of your little gadgets in the car. Thank you. This is fantastic for a dollar and to put together a whole little car basket kit for the holidays is where it's at. And this is a great, you know, option for a dollar to stick into that basket. <clears throat> so that is stupendous and I'm super happy that I found that. I found this as well and this is Fabuloso, which is our favorite, favorite, favorite thing to clean with because the scents that they offer are awesome and this is the ocean paris um paradise multi-purpose cleaner and it's 22 fluid ounces so this one is 30 percent more inside of it than what they usually um offer in their bottles at the dollar tree and to scrub down your shower with this your bathroom smells magical for like a couple of days <laughs> And we love it. So this is the Ocean Paradise. And so I'm really excited to find that really large bottle. And grabbed that up super quick. Now, last two things right here. This is a notebook. And I know I don't need it. But 
how could I leave it there? So this says flamingos and there is a cutout in this page so that you can see the image, you know, kind of like with a little depth to it, which I think is really a cute design. But look at the shimmer and the sheen on that. So, so pretty. The beautiful little flamingo with her crown on. And then it just has a lot of um, lined pages for you to journal inside of. You do your list, your errands, your bucket list, whatever you would like. So I picked that up because this is a completely new style. And they did have four other options in that type of journal book. So I shared it on my Instagram. If you haven't checked it out yet, go over to Crazy Days of Callan over on Instagram and follow me there so that you can see all of the things that I post and show you outside of doing these Dollar Tree hauls for you. <clears throat> and then last, this is from the Crafters Square brand. It's eight pieces and it is, it is glass stickers. So that is beautiful for a mason jar. To, um, I collect a ton of seashells. I absolutely love going to the beach. It is my happy place, like my church. I feel the most connected to the, to the universe when I'm at the ocean. And so right here, I will embellish a cute little mason jar with all of these stickers and go fill it up with sand dollars and, um, sea uh, seashells and starfish and you find all that stuff on the beaches around here so that will be really really cute to put those on and use it for ocean collections so that's it I love you guys I know we're at 36 minutes almost at 37 minutes so I love you super duper much I hope everybody stays happy healthy safe loved blessed kind to one another these next couple of days until I see you on happy Saturday's Dollar Tree haul I love you guys thank you for all of your love and support and being here with me and being part of my days my weeks my months my years and I value you and I appreciate you and I love you so I will see you Saturday I hope you guys like this haul all, please like share subscribe comment down below and hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time I put up a new video and I love all your faces bye everyone